All right. All right. All right. I am the streets ordained minister. Minister Jack, a.k.a. Brother Beige. A.k.a. Chapa Luther King. It's time to get real, y'all. It's time to get real, y'all. You know, we're not here to play no games. We're not here to coddle to the feelings of the woke lames. Unlike all these other niggas who lack the fortitude To address this woke, to address the transgender agenda, to stand up for values and principles and restore order in the household. See, we had a time right now. Where roles are reversed. And we are coddling to the worst. The worst people on earth. This is what happens when you wage war on masculinity. When you wage war on free speech when you wage war on a nuclear family it's not a joking matter let's get into this y'all Church, 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 check in! Shout out to the uh, the Empora, man, with our first super chat, $2 holla, man. Somebody else came through, man. Uh, uh, Fry, M, M, what is it? Fry Empress, man. Emphas or whatever. Appreciate you on the two dollar holler, man. <laughs> See who else we got here, man. We about to we about to go there tonight, man. We got to get deep tonight, man. It's about to it's about to be it's about to be one of those days, bro. You know what I'm saying? I see we got Alex in the zone. You know. See, these niggas want to sit around and talk about this, this bitch all day and bicker and, 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 and what I told y'all from the get-go of what the real fucking battle is. Shout out to the uh, Emperor man again with another $5 hollow on the Super Chat. They said they were coming for your children. See, I, I, did, I wanted to, we gonna walk it down slow, bro. They said they're coming for your children and they came in the worst possible way. If they can't have your kids, you can't either. Get your kids, man. Listen, bro. I said I was going to take my time with this. I've been telling y'all for the longest. Everybody think I'm crazy. But every time I say shit, shit, shit happens to show you motherfuckers. Shout out to Neil Chapo. He say, Jap, the media is trying his hardest to hide the fact that she is a part of the LGBTQ. The same thing that happened at 
the LGBTQ bar and the national headlines will be held. Yeah, yes, yes. If it was at a, a, a LGBTQ bar, it would be national headlines. I got to shout out Tote Noah coming through, sponsoring this show. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we the underdogs. We the ones they counting out. We don't get no help and support from a lot of these other niggas. Because they too busy tricking with bitches. They too busy trying to hold hold on for their life. You know? And losing their integrity in the process of kissing a bitch's ass to get their motherfucking message out here. But they are not about the message and the mission. This is important to speak about and we gonna always do this. $100 super chat from Tote, man, coming through, man. We definitely appreciate that, man. Jap LASIK fun. <laughs> you know, it's hard to joke around this. And I don't want to do a lot of jokes tonight. You know what I'm saying? Because we want to handle this with respect, you know, logic, and maturity, okay? Nail Chapo, I see you, bro. You know, we want to make sure, because we know what they do. Whenever you you got them on the chopping block, they try to say you're bigoted. This is hate speech. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Just like how we handled the Uganda situation. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make sure we, 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 be, we behave and we keep that same type of composure with dealing with this and go with straight work, straight facts. We're taking our time with this one tonight, y'all. We're taking our time with this one tonight, y'all. Mozzie come in. $5 holler says Luke 22 and 36. Stay strapped and God bless. We're going to talk about this, man. We're going to talk about this. Because the woke have spoke. And before we get into this, Let's give respects to the, uh, those who have lost their lives with this tragedy. You know what I'm saying? Respects, prayers go to their family. Um, it's a terrible time right now. You know, it's never a good time, first and foremost. But I know these people are going through it. Uh, it don't matter race. You know, we don't. We no longer deal in all of that racism, race, all that shit. Motherfuckers is, you know, I'm about making the world beige. And you know what? And you know why? Because it'll stop racism. But. Uh, end of the day, though, you know what I'm saying? This whole situation has nothing to do with race. You know what I'm saying? It has everything to do with radical ideologies of the left, the woke. And they gonna have to claim they work. Because I've been on, I've been consistently showing you and exposing this community. Not just for being sexual deviants, but for just being the pure evil and most disruptive people in this country, but get preferential treatment everywhere they go. They are the bullies. Now they're getting into terrorism. And they're going to claim they work. They didn't claim Jeffrey Dahmer. I was the first. And you know it. I was the first person you ever heard who put the LGBTQ community on the chopping block for not apologizing, not donating, not showing support and unity and, and, and standing up for the families that one of their members terrorized, brutalized, destroyed. You know, that is a member of their community. They did nothing. They turned a blind eye. Jeffrey Dahmer is your work. He represents you. If you want to say every time a, 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 a person with a red hat does something, you blame Trump. No, we're going to blame you. These are your people. They represent you. They represent that flag that you think is a country 
a people in a religion. So everything that Jeffrey Dahmer did was in the name of that flag because he wore your flag proudly. Bro said, if the episode is five hours, it is what it is. Walk it down slow and break it down to the molecule. Patreon worthy. Yes, sir. You see, when I get off these shows, I go immediately to work. Unlike a lot of these dudes, I'm not up here babbling and I'm, you know, I, I utilize the, 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 the panels to give y'all time. I'm actually here really discussing shit with y'all and giving y'all my thoughts for hours. So I took my time and I, I, I didn't jump on it immediately because I wanted to wait till we got all the things lined up and boom, the woke spoke. And when the woke spoke, they immediately tried to back up off of it. They tried to back up off of it and not lay claim to their people. They tried to not lay claim to their people. And I'm talking about the Starbuckers, you know, the AOCs. Oh, we got that. Oh, we got that. They immediately, they immediately try to say that this is not an LGBTQ agenda that that straight men and kill more people no 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 this is you like i said in the uganda video you know what i'm saying S shout out to mr speak on it i appreciate that man if you can name me uh all the four mass shootings that you're speaking of uh, so we can make sure we uh, we highlight that for these people. The last four mass shootings have been committed by the pronoun communities. I like how he articulated that. Because see, what they're looking for us to do is throw out slurs, throw out this and throw out threats. Nope. Because we already know you're not ready for a real logical conversation. You're not ready to sit down and defend yourself verbally. You never do. So what we can't do, church, is give these people an opportunity to run from this truth we're about to drop on them tonight. Because the moment you start coming in here, you know what I'm saying? F word, this, blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? Threatening. Nope. They're going to pay more attention to that than this message that I'm delivering. And I'm going to ask that all my moderators be on high alert for BS. You know? And if I, when I take callers, if you go down the road of BS and you're not bringing any real information, I'm hanging up on you. I'm banging on you tonight. I'm not about to let you come over here and ruin the show. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know how to have a real discussion when it's time to be real. And you don't know what we up against. You don't risk what I risk. So I'm not about to let you just go in here, just act crazy on the phone. So we gonna make sure that the rules are set. The rules are set. We know how we about to handle this. You know what I'm saying? We handled it just how we handled the Uganda situation. They can't do nothing with that. Make sure y'all go over to Patreon. <laughs> That one was too heavy. They can't do nothing with that. The media is making it more about the LGBT safety after this shooting than the safety of innocent Christian people when children were the victims. I had a bunch of names for this show. And then it hit me. Boom. God spoke through me. Because I know certain words will trigger these people. 
the true colors of the rainbow. Yeah, I like that. The true colors of the rainbow. Now, we're going to walk this down slow, man. So I, I suggest y'all get comfortable. I suggest y'all get comfortable right now. You know, I got my coffee, got my Gatorade. I'm, I'm ready to rock and roll. Because we're going to be here for a minute. We're going to be here for a minute, y'all. This is going to be one of those, bro. This is going to be one of those. We're here. If you guys got a chance, I know you're a loyal church fan. When we discussed Uganda, I told you all that the rest of the world does not want the madness that America is dealing with, with dealing with the LGBTQ community. And I told you that the LGBT community has is, is had the opportunity because America provides the stage for the LGBTQ community. They provide the stage for them, the platform for them to show the world how great of a people they are. They'd had the stage to show the world how great of a people they are. What have they done great? With that, with the with having the biggest microphone. Trent, we see you, man. Number one show on YouTube. I appreciate you. They've had the biggest microphone, the best preferential, the uh, preferential treatment treatment out of any group known to man. They're treated better than blacks, and we actually fought for this and died for this. They have everything, but they're still fighting. They are coming for the children. Now, I would cue that record, but you already know, man. This one, when it involves life and death, I'm not about to, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be tasteful. We're going to be very tasteful today. I don't want to, because I don't want to give these people an out. You're not going to get an out on this show today. You're not getting out. You're getting criticized. You're getting examined. We're going to break your we're going to break your flag down to the molecule and we're going to see what you all stand for. You all have the opportunity to show the world how great of a people the LGBTQ community is. And what do y'all do? Disrupt the world, and now y'all going for children. In the moment I saw the response from the woke trying to jump in front of this and denounce that community from taking responsibility from this, no, I won't let you do it. I was the first, again, to, to place the correlation between Jeffrey Dahmer and the LGBT community and place and put them on the hot seat for their inactions and insensitivity for all the money they raise for bullshit, they have never raised a dollar for Jeffrey Dahmer's victims. That's how much they care about humanity, but we're gonna walk it down slow because now they want your children. Now they want your children. And they'll stop at no cost to get them. And this country is so preoccupied with appeasing them with their pronouns and trying to change the English language so it's fitting to their to, and accommodating to their lifestyle. We are more concerned with that than the safety of children. Do you know prayer? Offends people. Deion Sanders was in hot water for saying a prayer 
with his team that he coaches. They tried to cancel him for saying a prayer. So this country will ban God to usher in trans gentlemen to read to your children. So we are living in a country where God offends people but transgender people don't. And we have, I've been attacking the trans gentleman community for the longest, showing you the violence that they bring. When they go into retail stores, the havoc they rate, they rate how they attack the straight man. Why, why are you not backing me like you back these hoes? When I stand for you, black man, why are you scared to hit the share button on Facebook to show that you are in solidarity in my message. Don't you, don't you, don't you sit here and be red pill in secrecy and be a church member in secrecy because you scared of these hoes. That's the, see, that's the problem. Them, 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 them white motherfuckers, them hoes and all that shit. They stand with they people. They gonna get it out there. Where y'all at? You get off work and you just wanna come here and release, but then you don't really stand on this shit because I'm really in the streets. Don't be half-assed with this shit. Hit the share button, hit the like button. Stop being afraid to be a man. Stand firm. Stop being afraid to be a motherfucking real lady. Stand firm. This shit is wrong. These motherfuckers have been doing wrong. I've been consistently showing y'all for years. They are running around here trying to mislead men. This is an attack on men and no one cares. They already didn't cook the men, now they on to the kids. And you all voted for someone who you feel that, 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 I'm sorry, you voted for someone who feels that this is important. We got Russia and China about to load up on our ass and you worried about pronouns. We got motherfuckers coming from the border, rushing the border to where they had to put barbed wire fucking fences. And they and they snatching that shit up and running into this country. Running and bulldozing niggas. But Kamala Harris gonna go out to Africa, to Ghana, to teach them about LGBTQ rights, we gonna walk this down. So I got all of this. I'm locked and loaded. The, uh, everything's getting covered tonight. She's out there worried about what they doing. Them people don't want this madness. Those people don't want this madness. That's important, but the border isn't. Hey, salute to my brother, Dr. Thunder, man. Y'all get a chance. Go over there and subscribe to my brother, man. Dr. Thunder channel. Y'all subscribe now, bro. Appreciate that, broski. You know? We're going to walk this down slow, man. When I saw this shit, I said, yeah. They already trying to do damage control because this goes against their narrative. They try, they're going to try to find some way, you know, to wiggle their ass out of this. They're going to say, oh, it, the shooter was wearing a red hat. It must have been a Trump supporter. Nope. 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 This was woke. This is what you get with woke. 
And they already, the woke, the wokes are already jumping on it, trying to clear it up. Trying to, trying to, trying to take the spotlight off of them. Nope. Every last one of y'all coming out of Starbucks, blood is on y'all hands. Evidence whatsoever that drag shows, gender affirming care, demons or any of it are responsible for this particular shooting. I'll tell you how. Because this person in this shooting and, and we are, first of all, let's again, let's make sure we be respectful. Rest in peace to the three students and the uh, three adults who all lost their lives in the Nashville shooting. We are dealing with the true colors of the rainbow today. They do not come in peace. Everything that they do that's damaging to the world, I'm on their ass. This guy right here, I forgot his goddamn name, but he's always riding for the woke. You know what I'm saying? He was riding for Biden. This is what Starbucks produces. One of these. You know, there is no evidence whatsoever that drag shows, gender affirming care, demons or any of it are responsible for this particular shooting. For now it's a particular shooting. Again, these are the same people who want to ban the Second Amendment right to bear arms you know they want to take your gun uh, david pacman pack pacman it's a starbucks ass nigga they want to take your guns away and give them to the woke give them to the trans gentlemen get them to the pronoun people pronoun people did this if it was Al Qaeda, any other group of people, if it was a Trump supporter, you motherfuckers, it was conservatives, conservatives. You're going to eat this. Every last one of y'all with your, with your hashtags and bright ass ideas on Twitter and your tree hugging Starbucks drinking ass is going to get this work. You see, T. Stewart, this is what I'm talking about. The other communities don't have this problem. Black folks, and you got to understand, these people are not blowing up because they got all of these black folks supporting them. These are white people supporting them. White people hit the fucking share button, hit the like button. Niggas just come in here and just, why do y'all act like grandfathers with Android phones? Get with the technology. I need you to hit the damn like button so this shit... This is frustrating. This is frustrating, man. What is going on with black folks, man? Y'all be saying, oh, we need black this, black this. Y'all niggas can't even hit the like button, man. This is Pornhub. You niggas will be hitting the like button all day. Say the Letterman community. Been abusing their privilege since the Obama area. They shoplift and yell hate crime. They're the worst. Uh, they're worse than politicians. Man. Yeah, you can tell he's a he's sultry. Yeah, this man is definitely L. He's he's a L to the G to the B, nigga. Yeah, this, yeah. Look at him. That's not. This is not masculinity. Nothing about this guy said, he, dude, every, as soon as he opened up his mouth and started talking, you know, this motherfucker is not with us. There is no evidence. The way he said, no, it's the white version of a Tay Tay whatsoever that drag shows gender affirming care demons or any of it are responsible for this particular shooting. Furthermore, it is abundantly clear 
that we aren't going to prevent shootings with things like the Stop Woke Act of Florida or banning. You see, the moment they start talking like this, this is the admission of guilt, man. They are trying to get, they are trying to change the narrative. And they worked fast. They got on it fast. Because they knew a motherfucker like me was coming. Drag shows or banning the amorphous CRT, which they seem unable to explain even what it is or whether it's even being taught in classes or any of it. We do have a whole bunch of different ideas with regard to gun safety, none of which the right wants to implement, which would certainly help reduce the number of these incidents. So now there is so now it's about gun safety. But this was an armed woke trans gentleman. A pronoun person. Armed. You know, but this 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 agenda when when so if we attack them, it's a hate crime. But when they attack us, it's mental health. Y'all not paying attention to what's going on. I've watched probably about twenty news news uh, uh, um, shows on this particular subject, and I compiled this sermon to y'all today, fam. They are saying that this is a mental health crisis. If it was a Republican, it would be banning guns, uh, 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 white supremacy, um, MAGA extremists, Trump, you know, but this don't fit that, so they're not going to they're not going to say what it really is. It has nothing to do with the guns. It has everything to do with mental health when they do it. See, it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when we do it. Fuck them. That's exactly what they see. When I seen him jump on that and then I saw this, I knew it's time to cook. I knew it's time to cook when I saw this. and insinuating attacks on trans and LGBT people are actually projections of what predatory cisgender and often straight men do when left alone in the presence of women or sometimes horribly. So they're trying to blame straight men now. They said, no, 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 no. Let's not show our condolences to this family and be respectful in the opening. No, we're going to make sure that we keep the rainbow image to look pure and innocent they don't want to claim this work so instead they're going to deflect and blame straight men as if so they so they want to make it seem as though the rainbow community poses no danger to children and people you're already in the schools letting these drag queens read the kids, dancing around kids in thongs and stuff like that. That's not dangerous. Now they're coming into schools with bangers. But the straight men is who we need to keep up. This is why I keep trying to tell y'all. And I'm, I'm telling y'all right now, man, stop again. Please stop listening to old ba baby boomer motherfuckers on important topics like this. Because if they can't see the feminism and the war on masculinity, they are not with us. And like I said, miss me with these other motherfuckers. Don't put me under the umbrella with these motherfuckers. It's the church. We do what we do. That's why we speaking on this. And they sitting around here six hours straight, exalting a motherfucking hoe. Many of these disgusting and insinuating attacks on trans and LGBT people are actually projections of what predatory cisgender and often straight men do when left alone in the presence of women or sometimes horribly children. 
So instead of getting you to challenge the patriarchy, they're trying to get you to challenge the very gender expressiveness that challenges patriarchy. Don't get it twisted, because a lot of people attacking drag are projecting. So now this is the situation. This is uh, every time you, you critique the gay community, what, you must be gay or something. That's the equivalent of who hurt you or you hate your mother or you can't get a bitch or you must be gay. That, that, see, they try to say when you, when you have to critique a very sensitive community, that is their deflection tactic from not dealing with the truth. The woke community does not want to handle this with a real motherfucker who's going to call it like it is. They want to sugarcoat this shit, man. Let me see. Uh, okay. Brother said, he just said, he sent me, shout out to Mr. Speak on it. I'm, I got the uh, I got the tweet. All right, so we got the Colorado Springs shooter. He identifies as non-binary. The Denver shooter identifies as trans. Aberdeen shooter identifies as trans. And the current Nashville shooter identifies as trans. So it's not a trans problem. It's a it's a gun problem when they do it. You know. But let it have been a conservative. We need to. We, it's the conservatives. It's the Trump supporters. They're, they're domestic terrorists. Why are we not calling them domestic terrorists? Why are they not looked at and viewed as predators? When I saw these two motherfuckers jump on it quick to try to turn the blame to the straight men, I told you. Many of these disgusting and insinuating attacks on trans and LGBT people are actually... What attacks? What attacks have been done on them? Because we can name plenty of attacks that they're doing now. They're attacking the children. They're attacking the schools. They're attacking the um, the workplace. They're turning the workplace into the woke place. They attacked all the cartoons we had with your kids. Your kids got to watch Spider-Man kiss another man. Watch Superman have a boyfriend. They're attacking the schools. Bringing drag queens and twerkers and shit, handing the kids dollars so the kids can throw dollars on the on the on a on a on a uh, a, a female impersonator. Now they're coming into the schools, killing kids and killing the staff. And that's not terrorism. I'm trying to understand what great things have this community done for people. Because all I see them do is try to destroy men. Trans gentlemen will go to the, a straight club, pretend to be a woman, to fool a man just to destroy his life. They don't get any imprisonment for that. Trans men uh, uh, get locked up, change the way he identifies, and goes to a woman prison. And impregnates the damn uh the prisoners. Nobody wants to use any logic here. Projections of what predatory cisgender and often straight men do when left alone. Listen to now, they will call us bigots if we put if we associate them with the word predator but who but who goes for kids predators who's arguing every day for the right to be around your kids not their own kids your kids they are taking away the parents rights to pick and choose who they want around their kids
fighting the good fight. Minister Jap, never let up on the evil freaks. No, I, I, everybody's scared of this. Oh, I'm not touching that. Motherfucker, we talk about the Jews. We talk about all of this shit. Because we stand on manhood. Because we know these people are coming for hours. Yeah, man. Nigga, Trump. And I want uh, Trump for 2024. What, what is it? 2020. What, whatever. 2026. 2024. 2024. And I want his. I want his son in office afterwards. <laughs> shit. Fix this shit. You know, I'd be scared to have a child right now. Fuck around and have a child in this woke ass country. You crazy. We'll do whatever it takes to go get Britney, <laughs> but we can't protect you. Oh my God. Thank you. None of them niggas was talking about that Britney shit. You know, we tackle real shit too over here, man. We got all avenues covered. Trust me. Why wasn't it mental health uh, when she was out there trying to identify something she's not? Why does it take a shooting to blame mental health? See, that's what I'm talking about. Now you're using your real fucking logical mind. That's what they're scared of. See, those type of comments, they don't have nothing for. Jap. Obama. <laughs> Niggas is funny. Church, I see you. Yeah, I don't believe in Jesus, but 100% uh, believe, I believe 100% there is a devil right now. Hey, man. I'm not here to... I'm not here to this ain't a religious channel. This is just a real channel. Your religious views is your personal view. That's why I don't get into religion all the time. But, you know... I think believing in God is a lot better than fighting for the rights to have a trans gentleman read to your kids. I think that's a little bit more morally correct. Alone the presence of women or sometimes horribly children. So instead of getting you to challenge the patriarchy, they're trying to get you to challenge the very gender expressiveness that challenges patriarchy. Listen to what you said. Listen to what you said. They they are here to challenge the patriarchy. They're here to challenge manhood. That's why I keep fucking telling you. I told all of these old baby boomer niggas this shit in the beginning. And everybody looked at me like I was fucking crazy. Now you got people. They Listen, people are so scared to identify this uh, Audrey, whatever the name is, as a fucking girl like it was born. They using he, she, them, they, or whatever the hell. They they trying to make sure the 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 right pronouns are being used out of respect for that community. This is how they got they got morality. They got your morality and your fucking values hostage. You're scared to be. You're scared to just say what's right because you don't want to offend these people. They have no problem offending you, hurting you, destroying you every day of the week. With immunity. Shout out to the motherfuckers in Africa who don't want no parts of this shit. I respect that. Stand firm. Uganda, Uganda, uh, Ghana. You know what I'm saying? What was it? Uh, Kenya. Y'all motherfuckers better stand firm, man. Stand firm. Let these motherfuckers. If it was a synagogue, it would be a hate crime. But it's a Christian, but not a Christian school. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Y'all on this reading rainbow, man. Straight up, man. These motherfucking countries don't want that shit. 
But let's get into this, man. The Nashville school shooting of three students and three adults. The true color of the rainbow. Killed all just nine years old. Evelyn Dickhouse. The three students killed all just nine years old. Evelyn Dickhouse, William Kinney, and Haley Scruggs, the daughter of the church's pastor. Three school staff also killed. 61-year-old substitute teacher Cynthia Peak. 61-year-old. Hold on, we're going to bring it back. We're going to bring it back. Hold on. We're going to bring it back. Hold on one second. Let me reset it because it's, it's, it's freezing. I got too much shit loaded up. Hold on. Yeah, man, that, that's that's crazy, man. A nine-year-old, that, these are kids, you know, and you're not going to say that these people are predatory or predators? Why do they want a presence in schools? Why? You got to call these people out for what the fuck they are, man. Evil. You know? Evil. The All just nine years old. Evelyn Dickhouse, William Kinney, and Haley Scruggs, the daughter of the church's pastor. Three school staff also killed. 61 year old substitute teacher Cynthia Peak, 61 year old custodian Mike Hill, who was. Brother, 61 years old. Probably retirement, just, just doing custodial work, man. Said to love his job and viewed co workers and school kids as his family. And the head of the school. I'm going to tell you like this, man. I'm not sure if you ever been to Nashville. Nashville is one of the nicest places in America, man. Nashville is one of the nicest places in America, man. I, I, I ain't going to lie to you, man. These were some really polite, courteous white people. All oh, you motherfuckers, all oh, white people, man, not, I ain't never been treated. It was scary. I had to turn my Chicago off, man. Everybody is so damn nice. I mean, extremely nice, man. Cool. The streets are clean. Nashville is a really nice place, man. I was telling my parents, man, when they retired, I'm like, y'all need to move to Nashville. Y'all gonna need to y'all need to move to Nashville, man. Cause my brother stay in Nashville. Every time I go out there, off the chain, man. Nice, just nice, man. Grown, peaceful ass place. Especially you ain't on bullshit. You got your shit in order. You wear your seatbelt and your two hands on the wheel. You go over the hell you want in Nashville. Nobody worried about starting no BS with you in Nashville, man. You know, you know, he said, I'm having a family overseas. Screw these people. <laughs> Nashville is nice. The white people are nice, man. For what I heard, this was in Nashville. I was like, man, bro, that that's that's uh, that's harsh, man. Because like I say, man, if you ever been in Nashville any, from every restaurant, everywhere you go, these are really nice ass people. You know what I'm saying? Really nice ass people, man. School. Six year old Catherine Kuntz, described by loved ones as a remarkable woman with a bright spirit. Strong and steady and hilarious. She had this amazing sense of humor. I can't imagine a better head of a school. Now, a lot of people, you know, they don't like, I'm not going to show the shooting because salute to the police for taking that asshole down. You know what I'm saying? For taking him out. You know what I'm saying? But you know, this was planned. And you got to understand, see, these people are not stupid people. They're not making mistakes. They purposely are attacking with strategy. This person, I think, had like seven guns on them. 
you know. So the doors is locked, shooting in the doors, coming through. You know what I'm saying? Got a vest on and probably was wearing a red hat to try to implicate and put and place blame on conservatives. This is what they wanted to do. They was praying that that hat said, make America great again, or said Trump on it. They was praying. You know, it would be a totally different story. I promise you, if this hat said Trump on it, it would be a totally different story. We wouldn't even know about the transgender background. They're like, oh, no, 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 no. Do not say that it's transgender. Just say that they're from a red state wearing a red hat. Straight up. You know? So this motherfucker come with camo pants, assault rifle, bulletproof vest. This is not a mistake. This is planned. Even wrote out a manifesto. And we're going to get to that. But this is LGBTQ community. This is your work. This is your member. This is a proud member of your nation waving your flag. Blood is on the LGBTQ community's hands. Now we got more responsibility for them to call them for action. Hold on, we gonna slow it down. Any, any, any LGBT person you come across trying to get you static and stuff, ask them what they're doing for Uganda, for their people, for their people, not for the, just the, the straight people in Uganda. No, no, what are you doing for those people? In Uganda, and what are you doing for the the families of the six people who died by the hands of your man? Until we it, don't ask for a straight dollar, don't try to rally us up because we 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 will support innocent people. We want to see if you do it. Just as I want, we we need you, Elton John. You know, uh, what's the guy who was dressed up like the devil at the Grammys? That guy. Yeah, you need to claim John Wayne Gacy, too. The families of these people. These are your people. And you did nothing for them. What's the guy, Sam Smith? You all need to go and help these families. Don't ask, don't do a GoFundMe, don't try to rally and get the straight money. No, show us what the gay money do. Show us how that gay money, you know what I'm saying, is there for the people. Show us that. Now we're going to call y'all to action. Yeah, Ellen DeGeneres. Let's see if Ellen gonna step up. We want to apologize. This is not what we represent. No, y'all ain't gonna say shit. Denounce them. Yeah, Billy Porter, denounce these people. Y'all never denounce John Wayne Gacy. You never denounce uh, 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 Jeffrey Dahmer. Denounce these people publicly and give retribution to their families. Other than that, I don't want to hear nothing. Where's Jesse Smollett now? Y'all was riding for Jesse. Is Jesse going to jump out with RuPaul? She going to jump out and jump in front of this? Hold on. We want to send the special apologies out to the families that one of our members of our nation caused the, the, the worst of hurt to. <laughs> Trans gentlemen took children's lives. Yeah, where's D Wade? This is why I don't support that community. And I don't care. I don't care about their struggle. 
Cause this is how they show their appreciation to y'all to uh, to 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 uh, to the black struggle, to anything we go through, the struggle of being a straight man with masculine thoughts, logical thoughts. They show their appreciation by trying to destroy us, and then come for our kids. Where's Don Lemon? Since y'all wanna y'all wanna do cartwheels in the street, butt naked with nipple rings and roller skates. Where's Lori Lightfoot? Where's Lori Lightfoot? Man, email me about that, bro. I don't know what this misunderstanding was. Straighten it out with me on Facebook, brother. We we trying to preach today. We trying to preach today. Well, blessings to you, bro. Appreciate that. But see, going through, see, he's looking for targets. Look at that. That's trained. That's 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 you know rifle trained. That, that's accuracy. They're not coming in there on straight BS. They're coming in there with straight accuracy. Anderson, all you people owe, owe the straight community, the nuclear families, the nuclear families that this motherfucker destroyed. The nuclear families. Black Lives Matter. Y'all did this shit too. All three of y'all hoes. Blood on y'all head too. Cause y'all wave this flag. Y'all stand behind that flag. Y'all stand behind that flag before you stand with the American flag. Yeah, see, this motherfucker's on the hunt. This is hunting. How do you don't associate the word predator with those who hunt? This is not a robbery. This is a hunt. The true colors of the rainbow is getting exposed tonight. It's not stopping, going everywhere. Appreciate you, broski. Just inbox me. I'll check my inbox when I get done. Blessings to you, family. This is a hunt. This is a motherfucker trying to come in here and catch a body. This ain't a drive-by. This is not cowardly. This is personal. They came in to inflict pain. So we're not going to let them get off. Let them get off the hook. Like it ain't that bad. No. And we're going to not let we're not going to let you unaffiliate yourself with them conveniently. No. And salute to Tucker Carlson because Four days before this happened, Tucker Carlson was, I swear to God, he was just talking about trans gentlemen with guns. And then this happens. Believe it or not, this happens. And welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. If there's one thing your average liberal understands perfectly well it's that there's safety in numbers. Don't go out alone, bring 80 million people with you. It's safer that way. There is a reason. I know y'all better hit the like button and stop acting like y'all ain't got no sense tonight, man. I know y'all better do that. A fundamental reason the Democrats are natural joiners and organizers and petition signers. Hold on, salute to Inspector, man, coming through. Sponsoring us tonight with this heavy message. 
Where is Brittany Griner to denounce this? Oh my God, exactly. See, now we're on the same frequency. You know what I'm saying? Because I told, this is how I've been addressing these communities for LGBTQ community. I've been on them since, man, fucking at least five, six years now. Calling them out for their hypocrisy. But now it's getting worse. Salute to expect of sponsoring us with a $50 super chat. Where's T.S. Madison? Where's RuPaul? You know? Where's Young M.A.? You know? Who else, man? I mean, where's Raven Simone? Who is, you know? Where are all these prominent people in the rainbow community? Just leaving Starbucks with a latte. Been telling y'all about their highest virtue is conformity. They know that as long as they're all wearing the same uniform, they'll probably be okay. This is why you'll see one person in Brookline or Bethesda raise a Ukrainian flag in the yard, and the very next day, everybody on the street will have one too. Suddenly, it's an entire neighborhood of foreign policy experts all specializing in Eastern European border disputes. It's amazing. Just last year, these very same people were all eminent virologists. Hold on. I got to get to the part where he goes in about this gun shit. Where's China Black? <laughs> Hold on. God, that is a fucking lame ass president. He said, safety in numbers? Hold on. Because he's going to talk about giving gays guns. Hold on, let me see. What this is about? Is gun control. No American has the right to own an effective firearm. A firearm that does what firearms are supposed to. They'll tell you this at length. Having a gun like that is just too much autonomy for you. If it continues, you may start to believe that you're a free citizen. And we can't allow that, and we won't. Joe Biden, for instance, makes this point regularly. Watch. We're living in a country awash in weapons of war. I got it done once. I'm going to do it again. Eliminate assault weapons. It's time to ban these. It, but it, ban them from free thinking straight black men, free thinking straight white men. They said they keep referring to the uh, school shooters as a female instead of a first getter. Because they don't want to have the rainbow flag attached to this massacre. You see how the media plays? You see the power of the media? I'm glad you mentioned that, answer because you see how the power of the media plays? If it was anything else, they would cancel you for calling Audrey a female. It, see, now it's the time where you don't, now it's a good time to not respect pronouns. When we don't want the LGBTQ community attached to this school shooting let's not do pronouns right now let's just call what it is on their birth certificate hypocrisy of the liberal left woke i can't stand these people i cannot stand these people and i hate i hate old democrat niggas that support this shit I don't even talk to people. They are so stupid. You don't have to be a fucking mathematician or a scholar. A, you don't need a doctorate to see that they just manipulated the media to take the spotlight off the fucking rainbow flag. By calling her, that, see, if any other circumstance, that would be considered disrespectful. If that was in Canada, they would arrest you. If you was in California, you would get arrested for misgendering. They are purposely misgendering the shooter. But it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when we do it. Fuck them. 
time to ban these weapons. The right to bear arms is not an absolute right that dominates all others. You don't need an AR-15. I'm serious. Think about it. Ban assault weapons and high-capacity magazines. Ah, you don't need an RA-15 or whatever they call it. So that's the head of the Democratic Party speaking very clearly that the party's position on guns. If we don't control them, you can't have them. Every Democrat thinks this is part of the catechism. So you can imagine our surprise. The other day, we're driving through Cambridge in the old hybrid Subaru, adjusting our surgical masks to cover both nose and mouth, and listening, needless to say, to national public radio, the voice of menopausal liberalism. And as we're listening, we hear this. We're going to play it for you and see if you can understand our total shock. Mass shootings targeting LGBTQ spaces and a rise in anti-trans rhetoric have inspired some queer people to take up arms. Mm. So they think that we actually give a damn about them, that we're out running around trying to attack them. This is false. They are not under attack. Where are the liberal uh, women at? T.I. denounced this shit. <laughs> oh, two denounced. Okay, y'all were like, oh, I thought you were going to talk about T.I. for real. So shout out to Inspector, man, supporting us even more with another $50 sponsorship tonight, man. We appreciate you, man. This message is heavy. You know, in the Starbucks community, will be coming for my head, man. Appreciate you. <laughs> So we, we got anti-trans rhetoric because we don't want you to touch our kids. Okay. The voice of menopausal liberalism. And as we're listening, we hear this. We're going to play it for you and see if you can understand our total shock. Mass shootings targeting LGBTQ spaces and a rise in anti-trans rhetoric have inspired some queer people to take up arms. New Hampshire's public radio Todd Bookman joined a monthly gathering of a gun group that sees firearms as key to their own self-defense. Okay, let's stop right here. Why is it? Let's, let's really think about this, y'all. When, uh, when Grandmaster Jay started the Not Fucking Around Coalition, Boom. His face, his name is over the organization, Automatic Target Domestic Terrorist Group. They were automatically targeted. He is in prison right now for allegedly pointing a gun at a police officer. Not killing nobody, pointing a gun. Who is the head of this group? Why we don't know the name of this? Why are they handling this with white gloves? Why are they not highlighting the name of the person who is running this trans gentleman LGBT gun group? Why are we not seeing their social media? We're not seeing everything. We don't know anything about this stuff. It's just a group. How does this reporter get to go there? But don't say the name. You see how that you see how powerful the media is in controlling how you think and see things? That name of that person is purposely left out. If it was any other group of proud boys, any any group pertaining to the message that they're trying to push, which is left BS, and everybody who is conservative, is a terrorist, and a bigot, and a racist, the names will be highlighted, nigga. Just pay attention. And as you might imagine, this story does include the sound of gunfire. On a recent Sunday morning, the parking lot of Patuckaway State Park in southeastern New Hampshire is filling up with hikers. There's also a different crew packing up warm clothes and weapons. Thank you all for coming to uh, Rainbow Reload. <laughs> Rainbow Reload. I bet you they're not going to treat them like a terrorist organization. Transgenders with guns. Rainbow reload. <laughs> Your anti-trans rhetoric makes the trans community carry guns. Rainbow reload. They're packing heat. There'll be appendix carrying in more ways than one. Watch out. Wait a second, we thought. 
This is NPR, National Public Radio, suddenly telling you that actually guns are good. They're valuable tools of self-defense really against you. So, yeah, so guns are good as long as gays got them. Shout out to Landy sponsoring us with $101 on the Super Chat tonight. We had 800 people. I appreciate you, Landy. You always come through. 800 people in here. Where we at on the lights? Miriam, check these niggas, man. Get these niggas on the lights. Appreciate you, Landy, man. We got to get these lights up, man. We got 800, man. We try to hit 1,000 tonight, man. I'm cooking all night. So there are times when guns are good, says NPR. And we thought, well, wait a second. We've been listening to NPR since, well, click and clack the Tappet brothers. And we remember very clearly their position on guns. For example, quote, the U.S. has more guns than any other country in the world. This is the same NPR that, in between updates on the latest trans dinosaur emojis, we've been following those very carefully, routinely runs segments calling for more gun control and not subtle ones, like the segment entitled, Many gun owners support gun control, so why don't they speak out? Oh, yeah, a lot, a lot of gun owners support gun control. Of course they do. And yet here's that same national public radio, state radio, state media, controlled by the Biden administration, encouraging people to go to the gun store immediately. But not all people, just trans people. Guns are bad, except in the hands of trans people. Here's more. Groups like Rainbow Reload exist around the country, often called Pink Pistol Clubs. It's a place for experts and the gun curious to practice and improve their shooting. But this goes beyond hobby. There's a practical goal here, to prepare and protect themselves. If the world is dangerous, then you have to be dangerous back. And that very much has pushed me into um, where I am now. <laughs> the gun curious. Well, you know, when NPR describes something as the fill in the blank curious, then it's a good thing. Ooh, the pedophile curious, now the gun curious. The world is dangerous, you have to be dangerous back. Now, is that a quote from an FBI indictment of the Proud Boys? No, it's from an NPR segment. At this point, it's hard to tell the difference in the lip smacking. Where's Bruce Jenner? Didn't I always tell you when, it, when the times get real, the rainbow community is not going to do shit? They never do. They rely on the straight community. They will complain and complain and complain until the straight community coughs it up. You know? This is what we're dealing with, man. This shooter had a manifesto. This is psychotic evil, and let's call it evil. These are not good people. These are evil people. I'm not mad at anybody who denounces their kids in, that, in this lifestyle. Kick them out your house. Kick them out your house. Every angle, and we do start tonight with News 2's Adam Mincer at the suspected shooter's home while investigators try to answer why this happened. Plus, the response from the suspect's mother. Adam. See? You see how they dealing with this all humane, treating this motherfucker all humane? If it was a conservative, it wouldn't be that, man. It's all out slaughter, nigga. The people would be, be boycotting the house and all types of shit. You know? The cops who, who, uh, who were involved in the George, uh, George Floyd uh, death, they couldn't, they couldn't go home. P people was all outside their house. Ain't nobody boycotting this lady house. You raised a trans gentleman. They don't place the blame on you. Them cops' families wasn't safe. Why is this old lady safe? Because the trans gentleman LGBTQ shield gives everybody immunity from scrutiny. Our team is covering every angle, and we do start tonight with News 2's Adam Mincer at the suspected shooter's home while investigators try to answer why this happened. Plus, the response from the suspect's mother. Adam. 
Haley, I'm about eight to 10 minutes away from where that shooting happened at the suspected shooter's home. And just a short time ago, there was law enforcement everywhere combing for a reason why the shooter did this. As you can see behind me, you can see the boarded up door where police blasted through looking for the initial signs of a motive. At 1013, police say 28 year old Audrey Hale shot their way. See, this don't this don't fit their narrative, man. And trust and believe this is going to get swept under the rug. This is going to get swept under the rug. It's got it's got another seven days before we be on to some other BS. And when this was going on, Biden was going to go get ice cream. I kid you not. Look it up. Biden, Biden didn't stop what he was doing. He had to go get some ice cream. Good old Joe. Into Covenant Presbyterian School. Took six lives, three children, three adults. Shot at police vehicles from a second story window. Then was killed by officers. Police say the shooting was carefully planned. We have some writings that we're going over uh, that uh, pertain to this day, the actual incident. We have a map drawn out of how this was all going to take place. Uh, there's right now a theory of that's, that we may be able to talk about later, but it's not confirmed. Police have not released a motive, but confirmed Hale identified as transgender. When asked whether gender identity played a role in the shooting, the chief didn't answer yes or no. We can give you that at a later time. The chief scared to tell the truth. And this motherfucker hated Christianity. You know what I'm saying? And hated the life that they live as a trans gentleman. Shout out to Landy coming through with another $101 on the Super Chat. We appreciate you sponsoring this show. Again, this show is a fan for the show, man, and we keep it real, man. You know, Kelly's in here going crazy. What are you doing in here? You know, we you must have missed the memo. We're we're not gonna call them. We're not gonna. We're not gonna go in because they know we we got slurs for days for them. You know what I'm saying? We got slurs for days for them. But we gonna make sure we cook them today with this logic. Time there is uh, some theory to that. We're investigating all the leads, and once we know exactly. We'll let you know. Police say Hale was also a former student at the school, and according to LinkedIn, Hale was. See. Used to go to the school, you know what I'm saying? Probably hated that they used to try to make her wear a skirt and be a fucking girl. She wants to be a she wants to be a man. You know, she wishes she had a dealing. But it ain't happening. You know? It's an illustrator and graphic designer who attended a private arts college in Nashville. On social media, Hale appeared to use Woke Arts College. Hell, you need to go to college for art. I did one semester in an art school, and that was stupid. And it cost almost fucking ten thousand dollars for the fucking uh tuition. Got out early. Fuck that. What the hell you gonna do with an art degree? It's the name Aiden. On what appears to be their personal website, Hale wrote, Aside from art, I enjoy binging on video games, watching movies, and That's all that was in there too. It was motherfuckers been doing video games, motherfuckers doing graphic design, motherfuckers playing drums, doing beats. I'm like, this is like recess. This is like recess. And all the motherfuckers got all they did was get high after they got out of class out of the class. Stupid playing sports there's a childlike part about me that loves to go run to the playground animals are my second passion so i also enjoy spending time with my two cats police say 28 year old audrey hale brought two military style rifles and a handgun into covenant and was prepared to do more damage someone that had multiple rounds of ammunition prepared for a confrontation with law enforcement prepared to do see this is planned again this is mapped out she had maps. She got a manifesto. She came ready to die. She came with that, man. Do more harm than was actually done. 
And according to an interview with ABC, a neighbor of Hale's said that Hale lived with their parents and also said that the parents are very nice and also very religious when reached out to. See, and this and they're not going to get into that piece where this was a Christian attack. See, think about this. If they frame this as this was a Muslim who came in there and shot this place up, then it would have been a war on Christianity. But because this is a move, a person who is a part of the LGBT rainbow nation and they killed Christians in a Christian school, it no longer becomes, and she resented and hated Christianity because she went to a Christian school and she lives contrary to Christian beliefs. Why wouldn't one say that this was not a hate crime, you know, fueled by her hate for Christianity? But they don't want to say that because it's too much like truth. He said, there's one German shepherd that shouldn't have got a, a that, that should have gotten an art degree. It would have saved millions. <laughs> Trying to figure out where you're going with that one, but thank you, brother. <laughs> But if it would have been a Muslim, it'd have been terrorism. Why are you not treating this group like a terrorist organization? Do we have to have another shooting from another member of the LGBTQ? You know, so we got to be honest with these people. You are not bringing peace and joy to the world. I'm sorry. But this country has made that important. It's that important to where Kamala Harris wants to go do an African tour to make Africans accept these people because we accepting these people and look what these people are doing over here. You know? Let's let let's let up cackling ass talk. President, you have made clear that the message of this trip is centered on a collaborative future. Um, at the same time, the Biden administration committed to calling out any foreign government that advanced anti-gay legislation or violates human rights. All three of the countries that you are visiting on this trip have advanced anti-gay, advanced or proposed uh, anti-gay legislation. They are on the right path. Stay out of their business. You can't even protect our borders. Now you want to go meddling in African affairs? You can't even you can't even stop the people next door from kicking our asses and coming over here stealing opportunities and intruding as if they got a God-given right to be in our country. They can ask. We don't owe them shit. They coming over here automatically, day one, committing a crime. Your job is supposed to protect that damn border. You meddling in these African people's business on how they want to run their shit. We don't even got control of the gays here. You think they want that madness over there in Africa? Yeah. Church, 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 check in. Listen, if you like this exclusive content, make sure you go over to Patreon, become a member, and you're going to have unlimited access to all my banned from YouTube content, banned from the public. People cannot take this heat. We dropping straight heat, straight fire. You know how we do. Follow me on all social media platforms. The link is in the description. Again, Join the Patreon. It started as low as $5. Join. Peace.